In Maya, I'm going to start by holding down the space bar, going to Create, and choosing Free Image Plane. I'm going to go to the attributes for the Free Image Plane by clicking on the tab on the right-hand side of the interface, or I can hit Control A on the keyboard. You'll see a folder next to Image Name. I'll click on the folder, select my template, and open. I'll hit W on the keyboard. I'm going to move this back a little bit so that when I introduce my geometry in the orthographic view, it's not embedded in the template. Now I'm also going to drop the alpha to about 0.5, and that just gives us some translucence if necessary, if our geometry should go on the other side. In this case, it will be a flat polygon plane, so we really don't have to worry about that. I'm now going to go to my front orthographic view. And I'm going to go to my channels windows first. And with my template selected, I'm going to add it to a layer. I'm using on the layer icon the white plane with the blue sphere. And that allows me to add a selection to a new layer. And then I can lock it to that layer as well. So now we don't have to worry about that interfering with our modeling process. I'm going to hold down the space bar. I'm going to go to create polygon primitives and plane. And I'm going to start by dragging a plane from one edge of my template to the other. Now I can't see through this, so I've got a couple of options here. I could click on the ghost button, which is the two interlocking white boxes, or I could simply hit four and work with wireframe. Now I want to make sure that the edges meet the edges of the template drawing. So I'll right click and choose vertex. I'll select the vertices and I will just move it a little closer to the edge of the actual template. And we're doing that because we want to be able to make sections of this and add them one after the other just the way you would build a fence. I'll return to my object mode. Now I need to add a texture map to this. So I'll right click on my geometry and choose assign new material and I'm using Arnold and standard surface. Now before I generate the actual UV texture map, I need to put some divisions in this geometry so that I can put a bend on the fence after I've constructed a number of sections. I'll go to the channel window, I'll click on polyplane, and I'll put in maybe three divisions. I'm making this in the context of a 3D video game, so I'm trying to keep the poly count very low. Now that I've got it divided the way I want, I'll right click, go to my material attributes, and I'll add the default checker pattern from the render node window. And I'll hit 6 on the keyboard. Now I need to confirm if this is mapped properly, so I'm going to use planar mapping on my Z axis to confirm that. I'll hold down my spacebar, UVs, planar mapping, and I'll select Z and hit apply. Now I'm going to go back to the channel window, hitting Control A. I need to confirm that both the projection width and the projection height are the same so that I don't loop distort my texture map. I'm going to right click, choose object, and now we're ready to export this UV map so that we can put our texture onto it in Photoshop. I'll go to my texture editor. My texture editor is a green box with a checkerboard under it. I can go to UV and at the very top is UV editor. I'm going to scale this down a little bit so that it's not quite so snug to the edges. So I'll right click, I'll choose shell. I'll select the shell, I'll get my scale tool and I'll tweak it in just a little bit. I'll return to my object mode in my viewport, select my geometry, turn off the checkerboard now, and I can now go to image, UV snapshot. Now make sure the image format is a PNG so you get the transparency in Photoshop. And the size is set for 2048 by 2048. If you recall, we started our texture map proportional to this so that we've got something 
close to what we're going to need once we generate the texture map from Photoshop. I'll go to Browse, I'll go to my folder, and I'll call it Fence Skin. And I'll save, and then click on Apply and Close. Now we're ready to jump into Photoshop and apply our texture to that UV map.